CH35 is an error related to a drop of the compressor's discharge low pressure. Low pressure drop will cause the compressor to remain in off state. Common causes of this error include service valve blockage, lack of refrigerant, defects in the low pressure sensor, a malfunction of the IDUs or ODUs EEVs, etc. To solve this error, start by removing the front panel of the outdoor unit. Remove the service valve cap to check if the valve is open or closed. It should be open. You can tell whether the valve is closed or open depending on the position of the top ring relative to the pipe. If the ring is about 2 cm inside the pipe, you can assume it to be closed. If it is almost parallel with the surface, the valve will be open. Rotating the valve top clockwise will close the valve, and counterclockwise will open it. You can use the right-hand rule to confirm the direction of the top ring. Once the valve has some resistance, stop applying force. These valves are fragile and break easily. In order to solve this problem, start by checking if the refrigerant is insufficient using LGMB. Through LGMB, you can also check the cycle. You can tell that the refrigerant amount is lacking when the indoor unit EEV is fully open and the degree of superheat at the indoor unit is above 5 degrees. Superheat is the difference between the pipe out temperature and the pipe in temperature of the indoor unit. Also, when both low and high pressure are below the target pressure for each, or the discharge temperature of the inverter is higher than usual. You can tell there is a lack of refrigerant. Low refrigerant volume may cause excessive discharge temperature. There are two possible causes for lack of refrigerant. Maybe the right amount was not charged into the system from the very beginning, or there is a leakage in the piping. Check the brazing and flare connections of the air conditioner. To make sure there are no refrigerant leaks, check for bubbles. Also, check the piping is not deformed. When measuring the refrigerant pressure, use a manifold gauge. As a needle rises, you can check the increase in pressure. Connect the blue line with a low pressure valve and the red one with a high pressure valve. Then, compare the refrigerant pressure values from the LGMV and the one from the manifold gauge. If the values differ a lot from each other, you can assume the sensor to be damaged. Locate the low pressure sensor. It is shown in the image with the white label. Measure the voltage coming from the PCB pressure sensor. Then, check if the measurement is 5 volts for the blue low pressure connector in the external PCB. Finally, check the outdoor unit electronic expansion valve. When you reset the PCB power, the EEV opens and closes again. You can also feel it vibrating on your hand. These steps should solve the problem. This